Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. Um, I've got a couple of um, things that I wanted to try. One is I'm using house paint as my base coat, which I've never used before. I do have it mixed with Amsterdam uh, Titanium White, just so it would bind better to the canvas. So the other thing is, this is a two foot by three foot canvas. Largest canvas I've worked on, so hopefully it will go well. <laughs> we'll see. I wasn't sure what consistency to use for this. I've seen other artists try to get the effect that I'm going for, which is the pearl cells. Um, they use different medium or different um, uh, products to get the effect, like satin enamels. Um, I've also seen people use house paint. I'm going to try it with the house paint just to see. But Molly's Artistry does use his house paint. Uh, Melly D, I, I believe, uses house paint. There are some really good artists out there trying to get or getting the pearl effect. So I'm going to see what I can do. Okay, so the colors that I'm going to be using are different shades of blues. I've got white on the bottom and a little bit of white mixed in. I've got phthalo blue, sky blue, Prussian blue, and Payne's gray. So, once I get my base coat down, then I'm just going to kind of make a pattern with, with the different blue. I've got three cups here, and then I'm going to do some tilting. So, I'll need some luck for that part. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to pour the cups on my canvas. Just kind of a random pattern here. Again, I wasn't sure exactly how much paint I needed or if I've got the right consistency. I do want to try and leave some negative space. Let's see. Love that. There we go. Cup's beautiful. All right, let me set these aside. Now I'm going to torch for air bubbles. I'm using my culinary torch. So, you may not have seen my other videos, but my sister was asking me what kind of torch this was that I used. I was visiting her this past weekend, and I told her it's just a normal culinary torch, which she said I bought. I didn't know that. So, if you're wondering, it's just a culinary torch. They're coming, they come in different sizes. Anyone should work. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can tilt this. All right. Wow, this is large. Okay, I think I'm going to start. I may have my paints too thick, which is very, very possible. Okay, got that corner. Not quite. You know what? I'm having a hard time. Bar underneath. Can I tell the way? I'm just gonna put it on the table. Okay. Tilt it this way. I hope I get some of the pearl effects. I don't know. Sometimes they don't show up immediately. At least from what I've seen. Let me rephrase that. Okay. I'm liking the way it looks. Let's see if I can turn this. <laughs> Man, this is risky. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna 
have a giant mess, which is totally fine. Well, I have a um, workspace. All right, I want this to go off on this corner. It's just taking a minute. It's a big canvas to try and tilt. Oops. We use that bar that's in the back. If you're familiar with these larger canvases, they have a bar in the back. It makes it a little bit easier. So far, the effect is really cool. All right. I don't want that to go all the way off. I love the blue swirls. Woo. Like I said, I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. This is going over to that corner. It's going to move all my paint. I might. I'm going to add a little bit of the white over here so it'll stretch over a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. Added a little bit of white over here. Okay. There we go. Super cool so far. Even if it doesn't create any of the cells, it's a beautiful piece by itself. Okay. Wow. I'm loving it. I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit over here. So, we're gonna add some. A little bit left in my cup. A little bit left in this cup. Super cool looking. Oh, I like it. Hmm. Didn't really want that there. My eraser, my finger. So now I'm gonna stretch that a little bit more on that corner. There, get my hand into that bar. Just taking a minute. I got zero pearls at all, which is the effect I was going for. So I've got something off, but amazing, amazing. It's gorgeous. So happy. Okay, I'll bring you down for some details. Here's the final piece. Y'all, it turned out amazing. I didn't get the pearls that I was looking for, but that's okay. I still think it's a gorgeous piece. I couldn't be happier. There's some cells that came up here. I love the dark contrast of the Payne's gray right there. This is my favorite part. It just looks like an abyss. It's just gorgeous. It truly is. There's some small cells throughout. And that's gorgeous right up here with the dark. I love it. I'll put the ratios of what I used mixed with the house paint 
So if you have any comments or suggestions of what I could try or use to get the pearls, please let me know. I didn't get them, but I sure do love the painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Until next time, you have a great day. Bye.